What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Naruto DND. As always, I am your host, Connor. With us, we have. Roll for initiative. With us, we have Travis as Cage. Hey. Mike as Jiro. So. Or Jiro. Uh, I like Jiro because it's a lot like Shiro. Yeah. And I think of, I just think of Doctor Jiro from uh, Dragon Ball. That's the reason why that popped in my head. And Nick as Wukong. Hello. Uh, so, quick recap: of last time, uh, the team continued their imprisoned lives. Masayoshi attempted to take advantage of the situation and tried to fight a guard and the warden. The act cost him his life. Kuro pressed his luck and tried to enrage the guards, which also cost him his life. And Wukong, who was on the chopping block, uh took the advantage of the tides of fate uh, as, and you know, because the team was stupid, uh, he was spared his situation. Now, not yeah. only is he allowed to live, but he is now the only person in the low security cell block. I'm not low security. No. No. Oh, sweet. I made it up without even trying. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I can't believe I made it. I'm the only one alive. <laughs> so it's a pretty grand day. Yeah, it is. So, good question, Connor. If we make it out of here and then we die, do we have to come back to prison? If you don't bring your uh, the other people with you, yes. <laughs> I like that. Let's not bring anybody with us, guys. GG. Come back to break out again. All right, so uh, yeah, y'all wake up. It's morning time. See, you wake up to the to the you know hearing the cells, the cell doors opening. All right, I'm gonna take a shower. All right, let's go over to you here, Wukong. You've got a real fancy setup over here, so you have an entirely separate room for your shower. Which is great, private shower, private cell. Mm -hmm. and only one guard standing in the, the side mm -hmm. after I take a shower which is what I just did I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go over to the billiards and ask the guard if he wants to play no no no, no. thank you but uh, you know, I've got a job to do alright and then I'm just going to play solo nine ball alright <laughs> real perform check uh, you know, you're not doing great, but you're also a ninja who, you know, this might be your first time playing billiards, so, uh, you know, whatever. I'm just smacking all the balls into the holes. And you're doing the right. best you can. By so let's myself. get back here to uh, Cage and Jiro. What are you two doing? I'm going to leave the cell and start walking around. All right. So it's or not shower time or anything? No, we just woke up. It is shower time. Oh, I'm going to go to the shower then. Yeah, you've got some time. You can take your time. Don't have to go there straight immediately. Just imagine everyone else is in there, you know. I'm not going to drag all the tokens over for that, obviously. Uh, Unless so there's this... a special situation that takes place. That's the exception. So this camera's rain division... How far does it extend? Like pretty much right here. You don't know. I well, mean, that's like a physical go, obstruction right here. Yeah. Yeah, it's not gonna go past that wall. Uh, yeah, it's not gonna go past that. You can guarantee that much. All right. You don't know if it's got like a narrow cone of vision. You don't know if it's got a wide cone of vision. I assume more or less just to find out. Like, can this this camera here you see in this area? What the heck? I can do that. Oh, that's cool. All right. Yeah. <laughs> How'd you do that? Uh, uh, left click and then right click. Oh, shit. <laughs> I was like, yeah, but uh, like right here. So you wouldn't be able to see in, inside it. Uh, oh, shit. Did you see that? Did Watch this. Like, yeah. Watch this. Wait, how did it? Hold on. What are you guys doing? And then. Look at that. <laughs> you see right, that let me step. 
Uh, yeah, I don't see your line. I see. Uh, There's a line going this way. Oh, oh, going geez. this way. <laughs> All right, I'm curious. <laughs> you just keep right clicking. That's, well, that's madness. So, uh, uh, it's interesting though. I did that by accident. Okay. All right. Uh, so good to know. Good to know. Actually, you know what? I so it pretty much does this right here, Mike. <laughs> that's, what I was trying to, that's what I was trying to get at. Are is this are these still co ed showers? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. So we're kids, right? Yeah. I mean so kinda teenagers. looking around like like the fuck. <laughs> Ew, cuties. GG. Probably not like that. More like this is so awkward. You mean this is so awesome? Awkward. More awkward for the woman, I'd imagine. I would think so. Oh, this is Japan, sir. I just oh. mean because the fact that they're outnumbered. Are you yeah. talking about where the younger they are, the bigger the titties they have? Yeah, that's yeah. weird. <laughs> <laughs> it's a miracle of nature. So you guys want me to cut that out or <laughs> leave that in? So yeah, sure. um, is anybody talking in here? Like, is there a group of people talking while they're taking a shower? That we that they're, they're grouped pretty much in the same way that they were outside. Like, you've got most of the Leaf Ninja together, most of the uh, Sand Ninja together. Those little groups that were in there. The real exception to this is all the women seem to be together. I just like uh, I'm gonna say like uh, I, I I seem very embarrassed and I'm not looking in their direction at all. It's a really weird thing to say out loud. No, <laughs> he doesn't say that. I'm just saying that's what he. That's what he. That's what my guy's doing. Yeah, no, he just said because he started with "I say." <laughs> oh yeah, okay, I get you. <laughs> All right, Jiro, how are you feeling? In and out for me. Cleanse In myself. and out. All right. All right let's start walking this way. Where are the women located? Uh, we're going to sit at the top left corner. Where G where Jiro was? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, near where Jiro was. Yeah. Wow. So I'm on the opposite corner of them as far away as possible. Mm -hmm. I get done and I, and I, I, I get the hell out of Dodge. Get the heck out of Dodge. Nice to keep the PC. I very much, I'm going to metagame this, I very much thought about, like, like it would make sense it's a prison for someone to try and be rapey, but rape just, like, doesn't exist in the Naruto world. Except for that one time it did. <laughs> when? Oh, when you raped me? Uh, that, uh, like I said, that wasn't rape. <laughs> You're right, it wasn't. It was just about rape. It, it was, was almost rape. rape. It was very close. They never got raped. It was just pervert at that point, which, you know, Naruto's full of. Yeah, like that movie. Yeah, or like that moment, like when Sai's talking about Naruto's dick. Uh, yeah, I remember that. Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> so I start walking in this direction, which is obviously not my area. Maybe did the guard stop me? No. You're allowed to roam around these halls at this point. I don't know how long I've actually been in there. I'm just walking around, uh, observing camera spots. And this is all the, uh, I said these were the not low security people, yeah. Is that freaking Zep? Oh, that's all max security over there. He's all max security. What the heck is Buki doing the max security for? You're all in max security. I guess these are all like okay, never mind. So you said like they were like all right, so then there's a uh, super low risk and then there's high risk. Yeah, so maximum that's security. Even... That's you know <laughs> maximum personnel, maximum against you. Nick's the only sorry, Wukong's the only one who's in low security. He's got the one with the least guards. Okay. He's in an entirely different part of the prison. Okay. Yeah. So I guess they don't really care. I'm going back to my cell. 
to try to clean this right <clears throat> I'm pretty much going to sit down and just wait for them to tell me what to do next. All right. And some time passes, and it's time to go to breakfast. I don't remember where breakfast is. Yeah, and no, I'm going to grab you. Yeah, grab you both here. Stop fucking moving yourselves. I know. I stopped. <laughs> I realized that afterwards. So I was like, I have to quit this. Especially since I walked into a room where I saw me dead on a table. I killed you on the table. I'm sorry. You know, one day what I hope the that that's, that's too bad that you uh, didn't have them all on the like on a layer still, like you did the other day. No, they are. I just have them with the layer. Ah. Broken. Oh. <laughs> hey, hello. Oh. Oh, what? so I'm gonna go get my fancy food and I'm gonna sit here. Okay. You've got nice, delicious food, like high quality meat, some dessert. Oh, it's delicious looking. Okay, I'm not gonna take a bite out of it yet. Okay. I just. Jiro and Kate are walking by. They gonna make any comment or anything about that towards Wukong? Make him go away. About you gonna make a comment about his food or anything like that? Yeah, it looks okay. it looks good. Uh, looks good. <laughs> Must be nice sucking up to the guards. The rip. Man, let me get my food. That's the last time I have your back. Obviously, you don't know how to spread a good word about somebody. <laughs> Man, all I remember, all I remember is you uh, tried helping me out twice, and then I say, uh, "Buzz off, kid. I don't need your help." Next time, I'll just let him kill you. Give me some nasty ass slop. Thank you. This is some nasty ass slop. Just throw it in your face. <laughs> Wait, what did you just say to me? <laughs> <laughs> and then I go that. sit. At, I'm gonna go sit at Halpert's table. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> 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 In this in, 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 in. <laughs> oh man, that'd be funny though. Nah, I'm gonna sit at. Oh, damn, which one was it that I got along with? Yama or Ride? Ryuji. It was Yama. We sit at Yama's table. And he's just eating his food? Not really saying anything? Yep, me neither. I just sit down and eat my food. Alright. Jira, you saying anything? Hmm. You should be a fourth person at that table. You're not on anyone, right? No. Yes. Most of these people, yes. He's perverted like that. <laughs> he is the fourth person at that table. And I saw us here before. That was five people. We should help her up there at one point. There's somebody like on the other layer. Has not been brought up. No, they've all been brought up. I'm trying to remember where I've got this guy listed. Or this group listed. Right, Nora should be there. Yeah. We getting any more any any other breaks? Uh, assuming that your schedule goes the same as last time. Yeah, you love breaks. When's the next one? Uh, after you go here, you're pretty much gonna have uh, you know some time back in your cells and then yard time. Yard time. All right. I'm gonna I'm gonna draw in uh, and write my food. Uh, meet me at yard time. <laughs> right. <laughs> with with the with the peas you're gonna put in. Meet me at yard time. <laughs> I don't even know what we're eating. So, so if it's peas, it's, so just, it's just like, like slop. 
slop, yeah. Like, like cream of wheat or like grits or oatmeal? It's probably oatmeal. Yeah, that'd be more likely. Yeah, Man. I'm just going to dry it in there, man. I don't know if that's going to hold. How, 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 all right. It didn't need to hold for long. I just need to see it. Uh, you'll see that... Uh... You see that Jeff recognizes what you're doing. He just kind of nods his head. Yeah. I kind of make eye contact with the rest of the people at the table for a moment. Since I don't want to have this on there for long. So I don't know how, how close you're looking at it. Uh, yeah, gonna... they, they all look at it. Yeah. Right. I'm just going to just pretty much be, pretend to play with my food and act like I'm done with it and just get up and throw it away. Just to be conspicuous. Gonna be hungry. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I haven't touched my food either yet. All right. I'm gonna test the limit and see if they'll give me another, like, a second helping. Or if they notice that I've had it. Please, may I have some more? All right. Says no. You've already received yours. All right. I'm going to the trash, and then I'm gonna get that out. (laughs) <laughs> Jesus Christ! She's gonna like eat it. It's probably the same. It would taste the same with or without it's, it. No, it's, it's, it's like, it won't matter. <laughs> Just gonna comment on that. He's gonna say, "You're a fucking weird dude." You know that? Shrug. Go sit down and, and eat my uh, my hot meal. All right, I want to make a spot. To those. I want to make a spot check on the tables around me. Okay. God damn it. I noticed nothing. Yeah, you noticed nothing more than you're looking at right now. All right, cool. I'm going to start eating my food. All right. It's delicious. Yay. That what combined with your uh, regular bed, you're starting to take a uh, plus three uh, bonus to all your uh, checks. Oh, yay. Then I have plus three bonus. They grill his food. No, it's delicious. It's like fucking steak. Oh, snap. Uh, It's like much better than like even exquisite prison food. This is like top line. Some would say it's almost to motivate someone to be sure to like cooperate. But that'd be metagame knowledge. So, Uh, Oh, that's not metagame knowledge. I think it's... uh... I think it's (laughs) in game knowledge. (laughs) Yeah, I think it's pretty clear. Yay, I got plus three. Alright. I enjoy the food. No, I finished the food. Can I leave? Not till they tell you to. You are allowed to leave. Ah! <laughs> privileges. I'm going to go back to my cell. Alright. Alright, so just going straight back to the cell? Yeah, I don't know where that's at. I'll just bring yeah. it up there. I know it's up northbound. Uh, all right. right. So you're doing that. Uh, you oh. two finish your meals. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And as is customary, I have to wait until the guards get time to go. Anything else that you're doing right now, Wukong? Before that happens? Uh, before we go to yard time or before they do their stuff? Uh, like in anything the, that's like cells. right as soon as you get back. Oh, as as soon as I get back, uh, I sit down and uh, relax for thirty minutes, and then I start working out. Okay. Because I'm extremely bored, and I don't want to watch TV. All right. And there's a little bit of a, like a small set of weights over there as well. Well, hell yeah! I'm gonna go work on the weights. All right. And so, lunch ends for you two. Or breakfast, whatever the fuck you would call it. And you're escorted uh, back to your uh, maximum security area. As is everyone (coughs) else. Anyone do anything anything special during this free roam time? I'm not going oh, to. Oh, the guard also informs you, Wukong, that you are allowed to go and have yard time during this time as well. 
You'll be alone uh, there, but if there, you know, if you want to be outdoors, you're welcome to do so. I'm gonna go outdoors. <laughs> For real? Work, yeah, I'm gonna work on that heavy, heavy set equipment. Roll a strength check, motherfucker. Uh, all right. Get that plus three to your rolls. <laughs> Gee. I really hope it helps. I'm gonna be working out on this. Dumbbell looking thing. All right. Roll strength check. Roll my strength up. If I can get my strength up, man, that'd be great. Uh, You're having some trouble with it. Well, yeah. I figured I would. Yeah, I might have to reduce the weight, you know, to actually get going, really. Yeah, I'm going to reduce the weight to do that. All right. Just enough where I'm like, but not like about to like fucking rip one. It's heavy. <laughs> By rip one, you mean a vent. Got it. Okay. Uh, so, uh, yeah. All right. That's what you're yeah. doing. Jiro, Cage, anything that you two are doing? Uh, nah. I'd rather be incons- incons- inconspicuous right now. Let's go back to my cell. I am going to try. Pretty much uh, just. Yeah, go ahead. Now you get. You have initiative. Uh, priority. <laughs> no, you were just finished stunts, man. I go. I'm gonna do something. No, I was about to do something. What I'm saying, you good? You're in my cell, bro. Anyway, um, I'm gonna pretty much uh walk to like walk around looking at the camera locations. Okay. And and see pretty much uh, what was like like what Jiro was talking about earlier, the uh like how they're located, like which directions that they probably capture and just kind of like try to think about that and see where the blind spots are. That's your cell. The blind spots your cell? Nice. No, Jiro is in the wrong cell. Alright, I'm punch through this wall. No, <laughs> Right. You can see that there's a camera both you know north and south of each hallway, and there's that one central one, uh, as well as the one in the bathroom. You also know in that little like heavily guarded area in the room between maximum security and the uh, rest of the facility, uh, there is also a camera in there. So I can assume probably this area is can't be seen. Well, no, because this one's probably going to reach in there. So, black spots, black spot, black spot. They can see everything in the shower. There's no walls in the shower. Hey, he's got a ton of pain. Black spot. And... I thought you said a ton of. At first, I was like, "What? The, who the fuck says that?" And then I realized, "Oh, it's tiny." <laughs> and then I'm gonna go and um, sit back down in my cell on the floor. With my All right. Scrub. And some time goes by, and then yard time. Man, there is a basketball. All right, I'm gonna attempt to play some basketball. All right, go to the court, opposite oh, side hey, of the yard. Is it Mark dead? Or was that somebody else? Oh, no, he did die. I remember no, that, was, that was that was somebody else. Mark's still alive. He's Mark was him. Mark was wanting to tell you something. The other dude was on the was walked across, and he's the one that died. No, one of these one of these dudes up here. Mark is like, not dead. Who that killed her? Luke. Or I I don't remember what the fuck I gave him a name was. I saw you were leading him down a path of death, so I just didn't even write it down. So nerd. But, but he's giving me so much shit for two right, episodes. Back. All right, I'm going to play basketball. All right. What was that one spy dude that said he was going to help me break out? So I wrote it down, but it was on the other sheet. Uh, nope, I guess I need to write it down. 
That's my perform check on basketball. The only people whose names that you should know would be Mark and Fresh. I don't even know if you know his name. I think it was Mark. Let's see. That guy's who he's the dead one. Yeah, he's taken care of. Yeah, Mark's name is uh, Public Doll. So, all right. So you go up to the basketball court and you see that there are a bunch of other people there. And that you see that as you approach, they uh, kind of look at you and you go, oh, hell no. This is a ninja-free court. Uh, not even how I could school you guys? And what is this game called? Uh, this is called Basketball. So, uh, I, maybe, maybe, maybe I'm better at this game than you guys are. Uh, how do you play it? Uh, we ain't gonna tell you. We ain't gonna tell some low, some low sec bitch like yourself. Dang. Mm. All right, all right. I see. I'm gonna, I'm gonna study them intently and watch, watch, to learn how to play this game. All right. So what do I need to roll? Roll well, knowledge check. We're gonna count yeah. that as your learn check. I like this check. I swear to God, man. No. Four. Hey. Why am I rolling so low? <laughs> you're able to get most of the basics. There are a few things that you're still kind of fuzzy on, but uh, you're able to get most of it. All right. All right. All right. Jiro? I was there last time, yeah. He was the guy that uh, was like, if you guys get out of here, um, tell me. Because I can help you. Is he that, that guy? Mm-hmm. All right. Mm. Make sure I write it down. Oh, what the heck? So I just moved uh, Nora down there. I realized I was grouping her with <laughs> She should have been with uh, this group. Yeah, I was like, what the heck? <laughs> that group is her specific team, so. Oh. <laughs> I you got know, my message. Your turn, you go, yeah. What was this about? Assume you guys are interested in getting out of here, yeah? Yeah. How, how loud are you saying this? They're all kind of far away from each other. They're like 10 feet or than the 5 feet. <laughs> That is pretty far for like a normal conversation now. <laughs> yeah, like a secret of conversation. Right. Like, oh, do you want to get out or not? Nah? Like, hey. <laughs> Let's leave. Hey, guys. I'm going to break out tomorrow. You want to join me? <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's at least within, within five feet ish. Yeah. Whisper tones. <laughs> GG. What sorts of skills do you possess? Should an opportunity arise? If you don't have that, then I'll, I'll just I'll ask you uh, a different uh, question. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, so Nora, she's going to speak. She goes, well, I'm a medic ninja. I'm also familiar with the ice style ninjutsu. Kenke Genkai. Uh, Jeff speaks. He goes, I'm also a Kenke Genkai user. Well, I'm the leader of this team, and it's not quite a Keke Genkai. It's a Keke Toda. Beam style. Uh, then Kaisa speaks. Because I'm also a Keke, Genkai, a Keke Genkai user. You can assume the involvement is to wire our teams together. Typhoon style. And then Roy speaks. He goes, as always, also a Keke Genkai user. Nova style. Uh, if you knew Takashi, he's, he's the reason why we've got these now. I don't know Takashi, unfortunately. Man, <laughs> Takashi really is turned into a Hawaii. The legal version of Hawaii. Yeah, was part of his whole goal was, you know, getting past that whole border of Keke Genkai versus regular, you know, uh, chakra nature. True. And in, in in depth research on the Chimera technique, so we can get around to, and we can get a sequel to that movie finally. 
<laughs> yeah, so, His first but, attempt uh, at, uh, at the Chimera just ended up saying, Edward. GG. I didn't Big expect that. Brother, that. <laughs> <laughs> Aside from that, what are the skills? Well, let's get away from skills per se. What do you know about this facility? Uh, Sonora's going to speak again. She goes, really not much about the facility itself. I can tell you what I know about this uh, device that's on us. Go ahead. So it absorbs our chakra. I believe that it's only able to absorb so much before it uh, will eventually hit its peak. Um, however, every time you try and use your chakra, it zaps you. After it zaps you, it pulls from your chakra to refill itself. Alternatively, you could try and break it, but I imagine that there's some sort of uh, failsafe mechanism in there. But you believe that there's a, a hard limit on how much chakra it can contain. I do. But I do not think that any single ninja here has enough chakra to do it. A group, maybe. But by the time that we replenish our chakra, it'll be too late. Unless we're, unless we're sending out small groups of people at a time. But they'll pick up on that as well. Okay. Do you think it's possible that it's able to transfer chakra through physical contact? If you, you can pour chakra into it just by touching it. So in, in theory, more than one person can pour track into a single device. Yes. And I think that's the only way that we're going to have a shot of overloading it. But would that also not affect the, the other person's, or I guess their uh, devices as well? Uh, the chakra transfer from what I've experimented with using Roy here, it seems to not really pick it up. Both the I really don't know the details, but both the devices being in such close proximity maybe, or maybe there's a signal that's happening. Uh, I really don't know, but it lets it through. I see. I suppose it's worth a shot. We just need one, one of these. One of these devices short out, and they get away, or they try to get away. That's going to make the rest of our lives a lot tougher. I think we'd have to be prepared at that time to get everyone out. Or at least we someone should, to get out. We should have a solid plan before that. Indeed. Uh, so Jeff's going to speak up at this point. As for the facility itself, uh, you know, I'm sure you have a general understanding of the layout. You got medium security on either side of the prison. Low security, I'm not entirely sure where that one is. You can always ask that guy over there just trying to walk on. Uh, maximum security, obviously, you know. Um, but the biggest thing is I did hear a guard talking the other day about, about where a, uh, what's the word? about an armory, a place where they seem to be keeping all of our belongings. So ninja tools, seals, anything like that. It's not possible to get to that. It's it seems I think most guards are at least armed with one of these these guns, these strange weapons. I haven't been referring to them as firearms as far as I'm aware, but yeah. We should at least uh, be able to uh to make some use of those. Mm-hmm. But I think I've been I've been doing my best to try and narrow down the location of that armory. And I think it's actually through one of the uh, maximum security walls. Interesting. What part? Uh, the north. Uh, you know what I assume is the north side. You know the same wall where the shower ends on. Which of you would be most effective in destroying a wall? Should we actually get rid of the device, of course? And Jeff continues, that'd be me. However, there's no way that I can cover up the tracks from what I leave behind. Beam style can cut through it like it's uh, pretty much like it's sand, but as soon as anyone picks up, if there's any additional security, any rooms in between there, who knows what could happen. I think that'll be enough for now. 
think we're running short on the yard time. And I haven't played basketball yet. Yeah, good luck. All right. So I'm doing for right now. Stuff for, I guess, Mark may have some info. Mark up the basketball? I entirely trust him, though. Oh, I don't even see a court. I guess I'm lifting weights. <laughs> it was on the other side there. You were like almost next to it. Yeah. Oh, I'm zoomed all the way in. GG. Basketball court's right there. Wow, hot diggity. Oh, what the heck? All right? One of my guard towers. A lot of them. Completely surrounding it. Yeah. Too bad I won't be able to play basketball anytime soon until everybody's off the court. GG. This all wait to you then. Cage, what are you doing? I'm going to go lift some weights. All right. You going to try and max yourself out again? Yes. Roll a strength check. Uh, so you're making some progress to it, but you're just, you know, still having some trouble. Every day a step closer. Every day I'm shuffling, shuffling. All right. <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised I haven't been tried. To, nobody's tried to stab me yet. <laughs> well, you know, a lot of a lot of shake. <laughs> and then I guess I'll start walking towards the basketball court as well. That's, that, seems to be, that seems to be a very happening place. Yeah, it's a popular place for you. Oh, I just wanted to show some guys my skills, and then I wanted to get into a fight and then sent to Beverly Hills. GG. Me and Bel Air. No, that's copyrighted, so I said Beverly Hills. Lord. <laughs> oh, Mr. Bel Air. Yo, homes to Beverly Hills. <laughs> As your little chihuahua dog barks from your from your purse. GG. Uh, it's called a satchel. I'm going to walk up and say, yo, I got next game. I say, yeah, no, you don't. What, is this your court? Yeah. No ninjas allowed. I don't see your name on it anywhere. <laughs> he points to an engraving on the corner. <laughs> He's going to look at you and go, you got a problem with, you got a problem here? Do we need to teach you a lesson? Bring it on. All right. You know what? You three against us. Three against six? That sounds fair. Uh, don't worry. We'll just be putting you up against our best. <laughs> three on three. <laughs> Do I get a bonus for watching this? Yeah. <laughs> so, get plus three. I get the plus three plus the bonus. Because I don't have, I have zero performed. That's why, that's why I watch. Rip. So since we're visitors, do we get ball first? That's not quite out. It's gonna work here. I want to prove yourself. We ain't gonna go easy on you. So what are the rules? Sounds like something you should have learned before you came up demanding. I'm talking about your rules. No, you just play the game. So I'm going to look at Cage and I'm going to go, basically, it's... Is it make it, take it, or is it... <laughs> or, or is it, you know, you make it and it's the next person's turn? I'm playing a full game here, man. Okay. Make it, take it is where if they make it, yeah. they get the ball back. Well, I mean, that's... That's, yeah. that, that's a lot of times that's how, like, street ball will play. If you make it, you get to keep going until you miss or the other team takes it from you. Um, or if you're playing a regular match, we're going full court, like where it looks like we're doing, then they would come down, shoot, and then we get the ball, and we'd go down the other yeah, way. Yeah, yeah, that's what you're doing. Standard okay. basketball. 
Okay. Like like professional so, basketball. So I'm going to describe the game to both Kate and Jiro. I already know how to play. Yeah, I know you know how to play. But your characters. They don't, they're your not characters familiar. don't. Uh, let me guess. You put the ball in the hoop and you dribble. Ah, uh, yes, that's exactly what I just said twenty seconds ago. And then I'm gonna come over here. Are we doing the jump shot? <laughs> no, or... I'm just gonna throw the ball up. They get the ball first. Is what they said. Yeah. Yeah, we're taking the ball first. Let's see what you can do. All right. Yeah, we're, we're not gonna. Uh, we're we're not, not gonna do a hand, whole Jake, super yeah, special stealer. thing here. It's gonna be perform checks versus perform checks. Oh, so we're. That's all we're gonna do is just all roll perform check. Yeah. Yeah. What are my bonuses? Uh, you have a plus four. So four plus three? No. Plus four in total. Four total? Mm. Oh, baby. Jesus. If there was any time for a 20 to happen, I'm making now. One. Oh. Wow. Damn it. Those are some high rolls. Mm -hmm. Let's see if Jiro here can pull off an upset. Why did I roll a motherfucking seven? All right, so uh, they pretty much school around you here for that moment. The first, first one. Yeah, for this, so they just yeah, they're just going around and they just you know, bam from the three point line, easy peasy, nothing to worry about. <laughs> this is the embarrassing. We're getting our ass kicked. <laughs> All right. All right. So now they're going back to you know the opposite side of the court. Balls in your hands. These men are truly skilled. All right, let's uh, let's go. They're not ninjas. They're basketballers. GG. <laughs> what is Where? this? Magic? That's impressive. Four, four, four. <laughs> is, it, is it voodoo? Ah. <laughs> uh. Yeah, uh, you're doing a little bit closer, however, you're going like, uh, so let's see here. We beat two of them out of three, so I guess we won that one, right? Oh, uh, no, no, it's a sum. Oh. <laughs> oh. We, I mean. So what you're saying we, absolutely makes sense, uh, but that's not how I'm doing it. Okay, so 17 plus 19 plus 12. We get this by five. So yeah, you know, you're getting a little bit more of the hang of things. However, they, you know, smack the ball out of your hand as you're getting ready to go, and now it's, you know, they're pressing to go and uh you know, go make their point. Shoot that <sighs> shot. Let's go again. Oh, this is best of three, that's what we're doing. Ooh. Jesus. Shit, I'm actually gonna have to calculate this one. So 32, 43. All right, you guys. Uh, so they go to make up the uh, make a point here, and then uh, we're gonna say Wukong since he got the highest roll. He knocks it out of their hands and starts taking it to your side. And then we all roll again uh, and again. And we're, we're First to three. Hey! hey! Is that an automatic win? <laughs> the, the nat 20 isn't an automatic point. Um, however, it does get you a bonus. Um, you guys score your first point. Slap Jiro on the hand. Yeah. yeah Jiro's the one who makes it. <laughs> All right, so now it's their ball. Let's go again. One. Ah, damn it. Ah, oh. no. Ooh. So you see Wukong going ready to go and make that block, and you just, like, smack him off, and you two just kind of collide. No, nah, he he trips over his fucking lace and rolls in the He just don't have laces. Yeah. It trips uh, over and then they make pebble. their second point of the game. Ball's in your hands. Stay out of the way, monkey man. I'm just gonna look at him like you're the one who fucking hit me, man. God damn. <laughs> Yay! Oh. <laughs> Rip. Oh, come on! There's, there's <laughs> not one on our team, though. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm thinking of right now. 
he fucks it up somehow. Yeah, so you see one of those guys pretty much trips the second one on accident, causing them both to fall. Cage and Jiro, you two are trying to get around that third guy, and you're just getting no luck. He's just going all around you, you know, teaching you, teaching you fools. Bam. But then Wukong comes up once again and just takes it from him. Ball's now on your side. Uh, that was our side. Yeah. Sorry, ball's now in your hands. But it was in our hands. Yeah. They said it should be our. It should be a point. I've lost myself. You score a point. <laughs> <laughs> so it's so it's two to two now, right? Yeah, it's now two to two. Oh shoot! We gotta stop him here. I even knew that going in. No, I, I, I'm clearly more tired than I'm aware of. All right. <laughs> so now it's in their hands. They're going to shoot against you. Oh boy! Here we go. Oh. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh my god. Oh, 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 oh. Been shredded. Nice. What are these low rolls? They they scored on that. No, they got a crit. That, crit one. that one, though. Got two of those in a row. They just missed. Barely yeah. the guy. That guy took a shot, and now. Yeah, that sounds. Yeah. They got to make the shot, and they just, you know, fumble. It bounces right out. This yeah. is it, guys. This is our chance. All right. All right. All right. All right. Oh, shit. Oh, come on. Oh, no. Fuck. You beat the sum by one. Oh, we beat it by one. Yep. So you go in to make that last shot. And you make it. Ooh. Barely. <laughs> All right, now I have only fucking eight more fucking action points. Dude, I have two. <laughs> okay. Wait, no, oh here. my god, no, he has used that in wonder. One. GG. What a waste <laughs> of action points. <laughs> I, I wanted to teach you some of the lesson. They didn't want to play. <laughs> she, she. So they just kind of, you know, the they end up grabbing the ball at the very end and they go, all right, you know, whatever. You guys did fine. You know, of course, one of you is performing better. He's got, you know, the good food, the little kiss ass that he is. Yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Whatever. <laughs> that was a stretch from wrecking these kids. Of their own game. You know the sad part about this is? First time. Y'all been doing this a while. We've never played this game before. Because the show Ninja are the best. Yeah. Gonna be the best at getting killed. I hear two of you are already dead. Yeah. Because they're probably trying to make their way out. At least we're trying to do something about it. Unlike you guys just sitting around. Picking our asses. Look at that. Look at the little idiot ninjas trying to think that they're so smart and tough. Hey, let me tell you something about this. If you put in all the effort in the world and it gets you a bullet in the head, what do you end up with? A bullet in the head. A bullet in your fucking head. He's going to make an attack at you with the basketball, throwing it at your head. That this is Wukong. Oh. All right. You missed. Oh, he missed. <laughs> I'm gonna say you just catch it like right as it's going to your face. No, I'm not gonna catch it. I'm just gonna step out the way and just let it roll. Okay. She's the one who threw it at me. I didn't. I'm just dodging it. And I'm gonna it just, walk it just, away. It just bounces over there, way to the other end. Yeah. I'm just gonna walk away. I'm gonna go grab the ball and I'm gonna throw it back at. Which one threw it? Oh, we're going to say the center guy. Oh, center guy. I'm going to throw out the one in the center as hard as I can. All right. So roll a uh, a melee uh, range. Right? Not melee range. Range. Oh, yeah. Just a range. Sorry. (laughs) Add your melee and your range together. You get a really high number. All right. That's a hit. Roll for damage. Oh, shit. And you kill him. <laughs> no. Uh, one D four plus your strength modifier. Is it strength or is it dex? It's gonna be strength for this one because you said as as hard as he can. Oh. 
What do I roll? 1D. 1D4 plus your strength modifier. Yeah. He knocked this guy out. And it slams into him and he falls on his ass on the ground. And suddenly you all hear a sniper rifle go off. Uh, kid just dead. Probably up in the air like... Whoa! Yeah. I'm gonna crouch down, guys. And you see everyone pretty much just drops to the ground. You see it came right next to you, uh, Cage. He threw it first. I was just giving the ball back. And the man doesn't respond. He's just looking at you with his uh with his weapon. I just hold my hands up. <laughs> I think now would be a good time to step. Yeah, that's why I walked away. I like I wasn't gonna escalate it any further. And so at that point, you see a, a number of guards come out, and they start escorting you all back in immediately. Hey. All right, you're locked in your cells for the rest of the day. Flush. Oh, but I I walked away. It's a goddamn cage. Well, you're also in low security. You being <laughs> locked in your cells, just locked in your cell block. Yeah, I know. Uh, I don't know if you noticed, but Cage kind of doesn't like when people pick on ninjas. Yep. That's kind, of, that's kind of his kryptonite. If someone's picking on a ninja, he's going to do something about it. He don't like it. I could just escort you two directly back into your cells with how I grabbed you. <laughs> oh, what the heck? Oh, what? shit. What is this? What? I'm seeing a, uh, like when you moved me and I was holding on to my, my person at the same time. Now there's an arrow where my character is. Like I'm like still holding the left click. No. I want to. I want to see the screenshot. Take a screenshot first. I can't. Uh, can't print screen. Yeah, I do. Let go. I want to see if it's still gone. Chi chi. All right, and so you are all in your cells, and some time passes here. Where the fuck is he? There he is. So eventually, Cage, you've got a visitor. You got someone who enters your room. I'm just gonna say I'm sitting there with my legs crossed, um, and my arms uh, in my lap with my uh, eyes closed, kind of like meditating. So I've heard about what happened. How do you feel about the sniper rifles? I open one eye. Oh. oh, nice to finally meet you. You can answer yeah. my question. They, uh, uh, it seemed a little unnecessary. Um, I was just giving them his ball back, but I understand why they're there and why they, uh, are in place to keep us in line. Good. Remember that. Definitely. Because they're going to do everything in their power to keep you in line. All I was trying to do was play, uh, was play this game that they were playing. They threw the ball first. I threw it back. I'm sorry. I'm, I uh, I apologize. I know I shouldn't have, but uh, they got they got the best of me. Come with me. Okay. Are you going to fillet my skin? <laughs> <laughs> oh no! They prepared a uh, a pot to boil you in. I'm gonna boil you alive. Oh man, we haven't done this for yet. <laughs> and so he says, "Wait here, I'll be back." <clears throat> Promise? <laughs> nope. <laughs> And say a word when he kinda, walks out. I just kind of look around. Nervously. You see their guns are trained on you. Cage, Ready? Cage, cage, what have I got myself into? Fame. And eventually, Warren comes back with someone else. Who's he come back to? The bully from the yard. 
Now I hear that there has been a disagreement between you all. Rather than take care of it in a place where it could distract my guards, I figure we should take care of it in a place where we can handle you guaranteed. <laughs> so. I'll leave this to you. First of the match. He steps to the end of the room alongside the other guards. Warden, what are you uh what are you getting at with this? Resolve the conflict. Am I going to get shot whenever I knock him out? Resolve the conflict. I'm gonna be like I look over I'm looking at Warden and then I crack a smile and I look over at the guy in front of me. Z is very nervous around uh, the situation. Uh, see, this is why all these guns are here for you, for the scum that is you, ninja. I don't need any ninja abilities to kick your ass. <laughs> You're gonna want to use them. Eh, don't underestimate me. I've been working there in the yard. I've been training and exercising every day. I'm as fit as I can get. It sure looked like it when you threw that basketball. Or when you threw that basketball at Wukong. Yeah, I, mean, I pulled a muscle. What can I say? I'm walking towards him uh, slowly. He's going to hold his ground. So you as ninja. I'm, I'm going to start doing like this. So you ninja are better off being six feet under, just like your friends, just like all of you are going to end up here. I don't know what you expect is going to happen, but you're all going to die. There's no way in hell any of you get out of this prison alive. You're probably right. And that looks like you're probably not going to leave this room either. I'm not afraid of you. Right. He's gonna pull out a shiv. He's gonna knife. <laughs> He's gonna go and stab at you. He's probably gonna hit me. Who is giving these people these knives, man? Yeah, he got me. All right. Well, you can you can see that this one's like a soap shiv. <laughs> You take five points of damage, and then you see that that there's like little soap shiv just breaks as soon as that happens. Now I'm going to punch him in the face with improved knockout punch. Ooh! Uh, which says which pretty much does uh, triple damage uh, to their constitution modifier, and if they don't pass, they get knocked out. Or they then they have to roll something, and if they don't pass, they get knocked out. Fortitude save. Fortitude save. So let me roll that hit check first. Pretty close. Just stabbed you. That hit him. Yep. All right. So then I'll roll the damage. What is it? It's 1d8. 1d10? Alright. So he rolls his fortitude save, right? Uh huh. He's got to pass the 31. He just got knocked the fuck out. Yeah. <laughs> and he is smacked on his ass unconscious. Hell yeah. Told you I didn't need to fucking do anything ninja wise to take your ass out. I could kill you right now. Of course, he's knocked out, so it doesn't really matter. I'm just talking. It's talking so the warden can hear you. I like it. So the warden looks at you and goes, I don't see a resolution. I knew it. I, I knew it. I gotta use them abilities. I can't use them. He didn't, turn, he didn't turn them off, 
right? How do you know? Try it. You didn't roll a spa check. <laughs> I didn't want to have to do this, but okay. I'm going to kneel down next to him, pick his head up in my arms, and I'm going to... For, for a second, I thought you were going to like pick his head up, put him, put him, on a, put him on a stone, open his mouth, and curb stomp him. No, I'm just gonna. I'm gonna go ahead and just take care of it. All right, and you kill the man. You see the warden just kind of chuckles. <laughs> well, you've taught me a lot about what ninjas value. I see. It's not right. nice. Escort him back to his cell. Ooh. And you're brought back to your cell. Am I bleeding? Uh, uh, a little bit, but not very severely. It wasn't a good hit. I mean, it's clean. <laughs> <laughs> Rest in peace. It's not going to be any infection with that one. <laughs> no, there will not be. All right, anything that you're doing right now, Wukong? Uh, yes, I'm going to go and... Uh... Uh, watch some TV. All right. Worked out. Eaten. Played billiards. You turn on the TV yeah. and you see there's a. See, there's a nice television show on called Keeping Up with the Kushinas. Oh my god. <laughs> so I'm gonna, I'm gonna immediately turn the channel <laughs> and go to the and find try to find something that looks newsy. Turn that schmutz off. You see a movie called The Newsies. Or, sorry, not The Newsies. called Newsies. Yeah, that's not what I meant, but uh, I'll take it. All right. See a bunch of men like dancing or, or like a bunch of like kids dancing around a uh, public square. Now is the time to seize the day. You know, I changed the channel. Have the... No, I changed the channel. I see that little sounds of really annoying. Great movie. Christian Bale's in it. So is the guy who's the Independence Day uh, president. I changed the movie. All right. Hey, eventually find some actual news. Um, so you come across one report where it's a uh, woman talking about. It's like, uh, it's like, now we have here General Malam, who is currently going into, or is currently describing the recent events that she had to take care of when they found the other continent. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna look at the TV, point and say, "Yeah, I remember when she gassed me." <laughs> I just kind of you see the guy kind of like perks up at that and just. Hmm. And as General Malam is speaking on television, she's going. Well, when we came there, everything was, for the most part, fine. But as we continued our journey, we found just savages. People who were angry and hostile and war-hungry. Their entire history based off of just one war after another, one country striving for dominance over the other. And so as a result, we did what we had to. We took what we could and we prepared ourselves so that way we could bring them back here, learn, and make sure that we can defend ourselves from the threat that this new nation poses. Then I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say to myself, in not a loud tone, but like, uh, but that, I'm definitely annoyed. But like, that's not true. I mean, the warring part, yeah. But right now, everything is kind of in peace. Nobody's fought anybody. In fact, we're probably getting weaker. So that guard just kind of keeping the quiet still, but he's like just looking at you as this is being said. I'm done, done talking like with, with that. That's, that's the end of my statement. All right. So I hear more of what she has to say. Uh, we are just going to say that's it. All right. Anything else from you right now? Uh, I keep watching the news. All right. Jiro, Cage, anything that you two are doing? Uh, I'm really locked in a school the rest of the day. Yeah. There you are. I was gonna say that. <laughs> <laughs> and I know. 
right. I'm going to look down at my uh, device and see if it's on. Oh, uh, yeah. You can see it's on. Because I didn't know if he turned it off when I walked in there. Because I was going to kill the dude. He wanted me to kill the dude. And if maybe he forgot to turn it back on. He gave no or indicator. Maybe that's just a special, or maybe that's just a special room that when you walk in, it just turns off. You never know. Possibly. All right. Well, I'm just going to lay back and uh, go to sleep. All right. Same with you, Jira. Mm-hmm. Oh, God, you to bed? Oh, uh, yeah. All right. I think I'm going to call this episode early because I'm falling asleep. What? Rip. Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, so, hey, thanks for uh, thanks for joining us, everybody. I might just clip this on to the next part here since it's going to be so short, or I won't. Uh, we'll see you next time. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Be sure to let us know whether you did or didn't by using those like buttons, the comments, or subscribing. And make sure you also spread it around to all of your friends, too. I'd also like to thank our patrons. With support like yours, we're able to slowly improve on our content, so thank you so much for supporting us. If you're not already a patron and you'd like to support us directly, be sure to check out our Patreon in the description below. We have rewards like stickers, shirts, behind-the-scenes content, and even the ability to make a major character to join in one of our D&D campaigns. Well, once again, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.